Duke and Carolina in the AP poll. Common in basketball, but in football, we haven't seen this since 1994. The Tar Heels, very impressive versus South Carolina. They move up to 17th. Duke, 21st, and I still can't believe what I saw last night. And you know what? It's probably time I did. divine intervention kind of at a loss for words right now but uh you know god is good and, and so is our defense or a deal with the blue devil it's honestly all my years of football I, i've never been a part of a game like that Hunter, inside the 20 stiff arms and a fender inside the five and into the end zone mike elko would tell you it's simply belief and hard work it's great for our kids i'm really really happy for them um, because they need this, right? They need to know that what they're doing and everything that they're pouring into this thing is going to get them the results. Right? Well, we're we back to work. We're back to work in the morning. Now we're back to work. Duke didn't just beat Clemson Monday night. They blew them out 28-7 in prime time. They're going to challenge us like, like Dion. Do you believe in that? After, uh, no. <laughs> Elko, not one to boast like Dion Sanders after a historic win. Outside opinion is just noise, but he's happy to welcome everyone in. People have a really hard time understanding that a group of kids can really come together and work extremely hard and change who they are and change what they're all about. What Alco and his staff and players have done over the last year is nothing short of a miracle. A testimony to what you can accomplish if you put yourselves together and you're willing to give a lot to an organization. Before he was hired, the Blue Devils were winless in the ACC. Now they just knocked off the conference's king. It's funny. It's funny how things happen when you wait it out. This was Duke's first win over an AP top 10 team since Steve Spurrier beat Clemson in 1989. Ironically, a group honored Monday and the program's last to win the ACC. This is what Duke football is capable of. We've never, ever wavered, wavered from that at all. The question now isn't about belief. It's what are we going to see next? Uh -oh.